Hi beautiful folks, it's again Ashish from Ashfree Creation and welcome back guys. And today's concept is literally so amazing and one of my masterpieces which I personally very much liked. So we are going to create an amazing 3D, you know, jellyfish concept which is coming from the screen in that kind of, you know, photo manipulation in Photoshop. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and do visit my website that is www.ashfreecreations.com and just download all the presets just for free. So yeah, let's get to the magical world of Photoshop. First of all guys, all you gonna do is just copy or uh, click the photo in such a way that you are looking towards the TV screen or computer screen, whatever it is. Let's duplicate the photo with the help of by pressing Ctrl J or Command J in Mac and duplicate the image. Now we are going to edit this photo. First of all, we gonna just reduce some of the highlights from the photograph because as you can see, it is over highlighted. We can't able to, you know, see what is present on the, you know, screen of the computer. <laughs> and just click in such a way now let's decrease some of the shadows and highlights from the photo and decrease some of the whiteness and the blackness just a bit and just hit ok so as you can see the before and after it is looking quite good now again let's just create a new layer select the brush tool pick this color that is the nearest color that is blue color by with the help of by pressing the alt key and just you know paint in such a way because we have we want to you know the remove all of the image or all of the lightings which are present on the rest of the image so we are just gonna be painting rest of the photo with the help of the nearest color which are present on the area where we want to paint And guys this concept is literally so amazing and this is a very unique concept so you should you know use or try this in your editing game and this is literally stand out your profile feed from the rest of the Instagram now we, you can just go to the filter and select directly apply the previous filter which we have made that is corrected the contrast highlights and shadows now we're gonna just fix this some more whiteness or white fringe which are present on the hairs near hair region right so we're gonna just make it color or let's just make it as a normal normal seems to be perfect i guess so you can just play with around and just make sure that everything from the image is actually painted with the perfect color which we actually want right so as you can see this one is looking so perfect now merge the image and the next thing is guy make a selection of the hairs that is very important so you can just take your own time and just select the hairs with the help of you know quick selection tool or you can use the pen tool to select the hairs press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication of the hairs which we have selected and i have already made a selection so you can just save your time and just go to the file click on open and we're gonna just open up the background so you can just download this background from the link in the description this is really so amazing this is a background which i have used in my you know tv screen so you can also use some of the wallpapers like this but here we're gonna just make it more realistic and original by placing the real background let's just decrease some of the opacity and here guys that is very important thing is the perspective so just press the control hold the control key from the keyboard and just click on the left mouse of the mouse button and just move any from any of the corner to arrange the perspective of the image so this is very important thing and it should look more realistic in order to look more real you have to you know keenly transform this perspective image which you are going to be placing in the photo so this seems to be perfect now let's increase the opacity to 100% uh now this one is looking kind of cool now press the you know guide uh, you know the press the share stamp tool and just press the alt key and we can just fix the rest of the thing again you can just press the control d and you until you are satisfied you can just play with around the transformation and just make sure to look more original and realistic as much as you can 
create a new layer create a clipping mask by right click on it and create a clipping mask select uh, or directly you can press the you know alt key from the keyboard between the two layers to make a clipping mask of this image now we're gonna select the eraser tool and we're gonna just erase the some of the fringes or near the hairs which we have you know made or which were remaining to be selected so you can just use the eraser tool to delete that thing there are some more over here so you can just take your own time and just play with around and just remove it very perfectly and we have to paint the color that is should be the nearest color so you can select the brush tool and just press the alt key and just paint the border of the whole image according to your convenience and it should look more realistic so we gonna just using the brush tool and just paint the area Now we can just merge both the layers with the help of merge tool and make sure to select the blur tool and just blur the hand region which you have cut made a cut out right so because this will actually make it look more realistic and original so no one would be able to identify whether you have cut out this hand or not so it is very important to make a blur on the edges of the hand. So finally we have done our process of blurring the hands edge now the next thing we are gonna be doing is just a little bit make a more transformation and just a bit would be pretty perfect now let's go to the file click on open and we're gonna start by adding the PNG of this you know jellyfish to make it look more pop out that should be coming from the screen so here the real process starts now we can just place this somewhere near the hand region on the top of image that actually it should look like you know actually it is coming from the TA screen towards the face to make it more look more realistic now here create a new layer below that PNG layer select the brush tool and pick the color that should be the nearest color that is black is blue color and we can just mine my, you know very decrease the opacity to around 50% and just paint it just a little bit just like this way to get a perfect detail the shadow of that image so as you can see this one literally looking so perfect and the shadows are literally making it look more realistic and kind of you know 3d like structure so it is very important to add a shadow below the image whichever you are adding now we can just place this image over here press ctrl t and to enlarge now just change the blending mode to screen and we gonna just place this somewhere on this portion yeah this would be pretty perfect now press ctrl l from the keyboard and just may move the slider from left to right until you remove that haze from the photo that white haze was there so we have removed that white haze now we are gonna be placing this near the eyes to make it look more you know impressive and it should look more attractive towards the issue you know the jellyfish should actually be coming near the eyes so it should look like that way so we're gonna just place it in that particular position of the from on the image right now you can rest off the erase with the help of eraser tool now here we're gonna do the same process of adding a shadow or sorry the drop shadow yeah so what we're gonna do is just go to that shadow image select the brush tool and pick the nearest color that we have already made picked just paint it with the 50 percent so as you can see this one will also be making a huge impact and literally it will look more creative as you can see the before and after the shadows are literally so cool and amazing so it will just make it look more 3d so it is very necessary to add a shadow on the image so we're gonna do the same process still we're gonna just add some more the jellyfish to the photo so let's just take this 
just drag and drop over here or just press ctrl a ctrl c and ctrl v to paste cut copy and paste now we can just press ctrl t to enlarge it flip it horizontal or vertical whatever you want you can just flip it and place that in a position until you are satisfied now i want just to i want to keep this on the bottom of the image so just press ctrl l to remove the fringe white fringe from the photo let's again just create a new layer or we can just go to the shadow the shadow layer and we can just add some more shadows just like we have added to the previous one so this will make your photo to you know you already know this will make it look more realistic and kind of 3d so that is our key point so we are doing this adding a shadow that drop shadow with the help of brush tool that should be of the nearest color not a perfect black but should be the dark blue stone now again just press ctrl j from the keyboard that should be on the png because i want to add some more contrast on the photo so i'm gonna just duplicate again i'm gonna just pressing ctrl j and just placing this jellyfish over here again do the same process of adding a shadow on this fish also so i'm gonna just add a bit of blackness or the darkest blue color near this area to get that 3d look on the photo now as you can see this one is literally looking so perfect now again we're gonna do the same process of duplicating the png that is of the jellyfish now as you can see it is looking so cool and it will looking kind of bright enough now we're gonna just add this particle that is you know fairy dust particles to the photo just press ctrl a to select all and ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste now here we're gonna do the same process of removing the fringe from the photo so just press ctrl l and just move the slider from left to right we're gonna just press ctrl u to colorize it and just make the color to around you know blue is one because as you can see the whole concept is of blue is so it is very important to add a blue color kind of you know particles to the photo instead of orange stone press ctrl g ctrl j from the keyboard to duplicate that particular layer and we can just place this somewhere anywhere near the photo until you are satisfied you can place near the jelly face or whatever you want you can just totally place it by pressing ctrl j and duplicating and here is a one more trick guys if you want to duplicate the image just press the you know alt key control and alt key from the keyboard and just hold that key and press the left click of the mouse you will get a duplication of that layer so this is literally an amazing trick if you want to you know fastly duplicate the image instead of pressing the control j you can directly press it and hold the control and alt key and just press the mouse left mouse click and you will get a duplication now finally as you can see this one is we have almost done our process of adding everything so still we gonna just fix this <coughs> here was one more thing was remaining that was adding a blur on the edge of the screen because as you can see screen should not be looking very very perfect and precise it should be a little bit blur so no one would be able to identify whether we have placed that image or it is a real tv screen so it is very important to add a blur on the edge of the screen or whatever you have made a cutout it is important to add that blur now here it seems to be perfect but uh, there is some more things to be done that is as you can see i have made a duplication of this png but it is losing the details in between so i'm gonna use the eraser tool and just erase it from the middle portion because rest of the thing i'll just keep it same i'm gonna do on this jellyfish just i'll erase it from the middle portion and rest of the thing i'll just keep it so this one is looking quite cool now finally we're gonna just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers let's just crop the photo with the help of crop tool 
and let's clear it and once again crop the photo so that it will be you know the size of the photo will not be big in if we open it in camera so now now let's go to the filter and select the camera filter and here we're gonna do the same process of color grading but uh, instead of adding the preset it is very important to add manual corrections right because this will make your photo to look more amazing because preset will actually turn your photo into the color which you don't want but here we can just manually fix the color gradually according to your you know camera settings or whatever the light conditions which you have clicked with the photo add a clarity and dehaze and the exposure and contrast and everything you can just add just it a little bit little by little now go to the calibration tab select the blue primary color and just move it don't make it teal guys this is very important thing which you have to understand or keep in mind while you editing a jellyfish concept never ever make a teal perfect teal color because the jellyfish or underwater photographs are generally bluish kind of tone not perfect teal but bluish teal so you have to keep in mind and as you can see i want a vignette on the photo but i don't want on whole image I just want on the top of the image the vignette effect so I'm gonna just keep it as it is just hit ok so this much we have done our process again press ctrl J from the keyboard to duplicate the image now go to the filter select the again camera filter and here we're gonna just add a vignette so as you can see this vignette is affecting totally on whole image but I just want only on the top area and also on the left side of the photo I don't want on the right side so we have made a duplication of the image right so as you can see you can adjust the feather and just hit ok now here we can I just don't want on the whole image so add a layer mask and we can just erase it with the help of eraser so make sure you have selected the brush tool and brush tool should be on the black color on the foreground and here we gonna just erase it from the area where we don't want because I don't want on the right side of the screen also on the face but on the left side I just want so as you can see the before and after it is only affected on the left side of the model photo that is very cool and that is the thing which I actually want so here you can decrease a little bit of opacity to around 70% now just mold both the layers so finally we have done our process of making a perfect 3d masterpiece of you know jellyfish concept now final touch you can just add a little bit of sharpness and here you are done as you can see this is literally so amazing and dope concept i ever created guys i personally liked it very much so i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button and if you still not subscribed then do subscribe and visit our website www.ashvigrations.com and follow me on instagram so see you in the next tutorial